In this video, we're going to look at the process for evaluating Dropbox submissions in D2L 10.3. There's a new quirk in this tool that's been causing some confusion for faculty, but hopefully I'm going to eradicate some of that confusion here. We'll begin here in the Dropbox folder list. To begin evaluating Dropbox submissions for an assignment, I simply click on the title of the Dropbox folder I want to grade. This takes me to the folder submissions list. Here's where the confusion may set in. The new default in this area is for the submission list to show only users who have already submitted to the Dropbox. But what if you want to see the entire list of your course so that you can know who has submitted and who hasn't? That's where this little drop down menu here comes in. In order to see my entire class, I select show everyone and then, and here's the non-intuitive part, I have to click on this little magnifying glass button in the search for box. This will cause the Dropbox to reload with everyone in my class. Now, once you have the view of the Dropbox that you want, it's time to evaluate submissions, and this process has also changed slightly in D2L 10.3. To evaluate assignments individually online, you begin by clicking the Evaluate link for the student you want to grade. This brings up a screen where you can view or download the student's submission, and just a quick tip, if you have students submit their files in either .doc, docx or pdf formats, you'll be able to click on the file and view it right here in the evaluate submissions window. It's also worth noting that in this example I'm not using the originality report from Turnitin as that results in a slightly different interface. Once I view the document here in D2L or by downloading it, I can either type feedback to the student in the evaluation window or I can upload a feedback file using this add a file button. Possibly the student's assignment that's been submitted that I've downloaded via this download link or by clicking on the title of the submission if it's not a file that D2L can show automatically. Once I've downloaded the file, if I want to, I can add comments into that file, resave the file, and then upload it here as feedback using the add a file button. I also have the option of recording an audio file where I speak the feedback to the student. Once I've completed my feedback, I can click publish to make the feedback visible to the students. And then I can use the navigation arrows to move on to a different student or go back to user submissions. This takes me to the next student. This takes me to the previous one. This takes me back to the list of folder submissions. There's also a method by which I can download all the students' files at once, edit them with feedback, and re-upload the files all at once, but that process will be outlined in an upcoming video.